and welcome to iNurture videos. After watching this video, you will be able to list different types of memory access methods. Data can be read or written in the following methods. Direct, random, sequential. Direct access method is a method of memory access which allows an input or output device to send or receive data directly. In direct access storage devices, data can be selected or accessed directly. For example, compact disk, magnetic disk, optical disk, etc. Magnetic disk is a most popular direct access device in secondary storage. It is a very thin circular plate made up of plastic or metal which is usually coated by magnetic material such as iron oxide. Advantages of the direct access method include data can be accessed randomly, low cost and data can be erased and reused many times. Easily portable. Random access means data is accessed in random. The random access file means we can easily read and write information anywhere in the file. Advantages of random access include easy and faster access, file handling in data processing is simple, it allows sequential access for processing, updating of data is simpler. In sequential access storage, data and information are stored in a particular order and can be accessed in the same order. An example for serial access is when watching a movie or listening to a song, you can forward or rewind to watch a particular clip again and again. One of the best examples for sequential memory access is magnetic tape. Advantages of sequential access include Use to store large data Cost is less Data can be easily erased and reused easily portable from one place to another. Let us have a quick recap on what we discussed. Data can be read or written in the following methods. Direct, random, sequential. Direct access allows an input or output device to send or receive data directly. Random access data is accessed in random. Sequential access Data and information are stored in a particular order and can be accessed in the same order. Thank you for watching.